Amy Williams from Bath is beginning to get used to the idea of being an Olympic gold medalist. Yes, the former pupil of Hayesfield School in the city has a few short days of relative calm before returning home to a welcome she probably can't even begin to imagine. Well, David Passmore is here with her brother, Simon Williams. Thank you very much indeed, you two. Yes, Amy Williams won gold in the skeleton event early on Saturday morning our time and her feet have barely touched the ground since. Simon, you've obviously spoken to her. What she said to you away from all the media attention? I think that the, you know, the last 48 hours or so have been uh, completely mad. As we've seen, we've seen interviews left, right and centre. But uh, I spoke to her a few hours ago and she was looking forward to a complete day day off. I think she was just uh, in the hotel watching a bit of, uh, bit of TV and yeah, just looking forward to a day on her own. Absolutely exhausted. Yeah, I, I'm sure she's obviously exhausted. Um, there's plenty of family members and friends and family who have suffered from uh, a lack of sleep over the last few days. So uh, absolutely, she, she must be exhausted but delighted. Yourself included. Absolutely. Now, your mum and dad, anyone watching over the weekend couldn't have failed to see your mum and dad out there. How much would that have meant to Amy? I would have meant an absolute, uh, you know, awful, awful lot, really. Um, you know, knowing that your your, your mum and dad are, are out there watching the race, because um, a lot of time she does spend a lot of time uh, on her own. She's always aware that we're watching on the TV, on the internet, so she knows that we're, we're, we're there. But having them in the crowd, and you could see a couple of times when she turned around and started waving to them, that was when she spotted mum and dad, so it was delighted. Excellent. Well, plenty more from Simon shortly. But first, let's just look back at that historic weekend and what the future may hold. When you win an Olympic gold medal, your life is never quite the same again. Amy Williams is a natural both on and off the track, but she'll have to get used to a level of attention British winter sports athletes only normally dream about. Yeah, I feel quite shy. Like, I'm not really quite sure what to do with myself. And, you know, it's my first win, and to do it here at the Olympics is just... I I'm still on, like, cloud number nine. From the moment she smashed the track record again on her third run, friends and family watching back in Bath knew the gold medal was on its way. This is where it all began. The girl, who was a talented runner, was targeted by the sport and learned a trade at the University of Bath push track. They're delighted they chose so well. We pick three or four athletes every year into the program. We have to get those selections absolutely right. You know, we're not like track and field or football or hockey where you've got a you know, wide base to choose from. We have to be really focused and really know that we're getting it right when we select them. So absolutely, we have faith in Amy right from the start. So it will be life in the relatively secluded Olympic Village for the next few days before Sunday's closing ceremony and then a return to a media whirlwind as she moves from an obscure winter sport to national hero. Now Simon, obviously you know her better than almost anyone else. How is she going to cope with all that pressure? I mean, she said there, despite her obvious charm, that she's a shy person. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing to suddenly, you know, be thrown into the spotlight as, as we've seen. And I, I'm amazed with, you know, the way that she's just dealing it. And when we watch the, the, the medal ceremony as well, I mean, you know, why she wasn't in floods of tears or anything like that. I mean, it was absolutely um, amazing. But um, I think she's just got such a good support network around her. And you saw with the two German athletes and they all know each other. So just having that familiarity around you, you know, surely it's got to help her a lot. Well, the last individual winner of an Olympic winter gold was Robin Cousins from Bristol, of course, all those years ago, 30 years ago. Now, it changed his life forever. Will the same happen to Amy? Yeah, I think there's going to be quite a few changes um, that are going to take place, um, more just in terms of the you know, interest that, that there is now in her. Um, and uh, people are obviously going to be wanting to uh, speak to her and, and, and see the gold, me gold medal and, and all the other associated bits and pieces. So, yeah, it's, it's going to, to change things a, a lot. She can never leave home without it. No, absolutely. Well, Amy grew up in the city of Bath and went to Hayesfield School. Will Glennon has been there today to meet some of her friends and former teachers. Star of the Winter Olympics and now star of her old school notice board too. They remember Amy Williams very fondly here at Hayesfield Girls School, especially her old PE teacher. Lynn Young hopes Amy's success will inspire today's pupils. For girls, 
it, it is the best ever that they think that somebody that actually came to my school and in the same facilities that I've got, this is what you can achieve and uh, it is great and I shall use her in every lesson every day. <laughs> This is the very sports hall where Amy Williams used to have her school PE lessons. Her teachers tell me that even back then she was quite the athlete, taking part in all the team sports she could, and it was here that she developed her love of all things active. What a night. What a night. Uh, I actually started crying. Yeah, yes, yeah. I will just remember that forever. As Amy raced to goal down the ice track in Canada, everyone here was watching, including one of Amy's best friends from student days. Oh, she was lovely. She was my closest friend at university, really supportive, caring, and a very, very dedicated person. Always, always training first, but never got in the way of friendships with people as well, which, is, which was lovely. Um, talented, not just within sport as well. Really, really good artist, music, musician, so talented person to know, really. That was a tremendous final run. The success of Bath's new Golden Girl has left everyone here extremely proud. The school's about to get some brand new sports facilities, which should help them produce future champions. And they're going to ask Amy if she'll come back and officially open them. And maybe some of that Olympic magic will rub off. Will Glennon, BBC Points West, Bath.